hello developers welcome to Xamarin coding tutorial today I am going to show you demo about CRUD operation using SQLite ok so I show you application okay so now I show you uh, coding portion uh, first you need to install entity framework packages so for that click on solution and click on manage new get packages and then install this Microsoft entity framework core and Microsoft entity framework core SQLite after installing it uh, create the model so here I have created employee model and that contain property ID name email and address and ID is the primary key auto increment after that uh, create the data context so here I have created database context and that going to inherit DB context and here you can add uh, model uh, and I have added here employee model and uh, database context constructor that uh, initialize the db part after that uh, override the on configure method uh, with the parameter db context optional builder and using the optional builder uh, specify the data source and data source uh, uh, contain that uh, db part after that uh, create this service uh, here I have created employee service and uh, this uh, first method uh, written database context with the DB part and uh, DB part uh, I have set as a environment special folder dot personal with the DB name after that uh, I have created get all employee method that uh, going to return with the you can get all the model with the db context if you write the db context dot so here it will return all the models I have on so here it will return all the models I have only one model so here I have used db context dot employee dot tool list it's going to return all the record of employees table and that update employee contain here I am passing whole employee object and that object I am going to uh, update using a link you update uh, entity framework update method and for insert also I am passing a whole employee object and that I am going to add in employee table and same wise for delete also I am passing whole object and after performing uh, update delete uh, any operation don't forget to use uh, db context dot save changes so it's going to uh, reflect that changes in local db ok after that uh, I created so employee page and uh, so employee is uh, this, this page so here is uh, add new record button and this uh, list view going to display data from employee table so here so employee method I have used and that going to use employee service and it will return got get all employee and that I bind it with the list view and uh, here on tab of the list view uh, I am showing that uh, display alert display action sheet and uh, here is update and delete so if I click on a uh, update then uh, it uh, navigate to add employee same wise on uh, add record also uh, it uh, navigate to add employee page and for delete uh, I deleted I use that delete employee service and after that I call show employee okay so now uh, 
so you add employee page okay so on add employee page I have used I have used like uh, entry that uh, name email address and one button and on the click of button okay so when add employee page call uh, I am initializing that employee service and uh, here I have set is update one uh, boolean variable uh, I have used and uh, if the constructor call without any parameters then it, it is a uh, going to add new record and if the constructor call with uh, parameter of employee object then it is a uh, it uh, it it going to update the record so is update equal to true I have set here okay so on the click of save button click uh, here I have use employee object and uh, in that object I am filling uh, that uh, all the text box uh, value and after that uh, here I have check if it is is update the flag is true then it going to call update employee method and uh, if it is not true then it going to insert record and after that uh, uh, it uh, back to home page okay so that's all and thanks for the watching